One what more the hell? One more Seth video what to go on world? before <laughs> before these two no. try to kill me. Anyway. And then we'll get on the Chrono Trigger, but I hope Thank you guys have some fun. Reminder that we do this every Sunday. Uh, we react yeah. to stuff, so yeah. if you guys want to give us ideas on what to react to or shout at us, either, you know, comment down below or just overall... You know, go to the Discord say, hey, I think you're shy to react to this. I'll check out, like, the video for a second and then see, maybe. Not so distant future. Man no longer fears the tyranny of the state as sovereign nations have been abolished. I wonder if I could ever date a cosplayer. Such a weird thought, but it popped in my head. Anarcho-capitalism. Whenever anarcho-capitalism is meant I don't know really what anarcho-capitalism is, to be exact. conversation, it's usually followed by repealing... Are you trying to call or something? it simply means everything and everything. Oh yeah, I forgot. Maury's a cosplayer. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my ex wanted to cosplay too. For those who don't know, yes, I am single. Sorry, ladies, I'm single. <laughs> anyway. No, you're, you're single already to mingle. <laughs> Next single and he's gonna make it everybody's now. <laughs> well then. Oh god, that's so bad. It's like her <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. Anyway, on to the video. Don't, don't worry guys, he's he's dating chat. <laughs> I kind of doubt my my chat would date me. Anyway, on to it. Contractor with Flexible morality. Oh boy. Work for the highest bidder. The this is a surprising mix of 2D and 3D. The world is over. Judgment oh. Day is here. Oh, we're I need to turn it up a bit. Die. And we've chosen to profit from the chaos. But first, oh, God. a word from our sponsor. Because Pretty I much. The world is ending in this. Whoops. Sorry, guys. My PC crashed. Again. Oh, boy. I had a single Chrome tab open, so my computer caught fire, burned down my house, and killed my wife's son. <laughs> Thankfully, today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. <laughs> it's no small... It's one of the reasons I don't use Chrome while streaming is because my PC is incredibly shitty, and I do use Opera GX. The secret that modern web browsers are massive resource hogs. They always mm -hmm. say, just upgrade your rig, bro. But you know Sure. What? No. I'm using Opera's GX control oh my feature God. to limit how much CPU you and RAM the browser can use. So I oh, can to watch uninterrupted no matter how many memory leaks Elon adds to Twitter. Opera GX is oh extremely my God. Horrible. Check out this one that I made. That is very true. I've heard your cries, your <laughs> demands. More, Seth. We want more, Ugh. Seth. Well, hey, hey, now hey, you've got me with every hey, hey, single keystroke. Wait, what? Right <laughs> stroking right alongside you. <laughs> Why did he do this? You don't it like reminds you me just of to... Let's Game It Out doing the same thing. Wallpaper. Opera How GX did you once even... again has you covered. You can fully customize which features come from which mods. And with oh a plethora of excellent mods on the store page, your browser can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, Check this out by tweaking the music, keyboard sounds, tab sounds, theme, wallpaper, and custom <laughs> shader. I've created the ultimate web browsing experience. Dear oh, God, so music to my ears. Now I know what you're thinking, Seth. This browser sounds pretty cool and all, but switching browsers is such a pain. It Worry is kind not, of a pain. Opera but... GX has an import tool to quickly download all your oh, yeah, this. History, bookmarks and yep. passwords in just one. Which click. is really actually helpful. I do use Opera for a lot of things just because it's a lot easier to use. It has a dark mode, and Chrome didn't get that forever, Here's so I did so that I would burn out my eyes. To download Opera GX today and say goodbye to all those pesky, boring other browsers. To answer other the question, King. what is a quasimorph? Sometimes the most accurate answer is the schizophrenic one. The setting what? of quasimorph stems from the esoteric <gasps> metamythos of Daniel Andreev in his book oh. Rose of a World, which describes Shadanakar, or the systems of parallel worlds connected to Earth. These Wait, concentric what? layers are Brumfaturas, the superimposition, influence, and overlap of which formulate together to create existence. Fable, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Why? It's because you always seems to be uh, going so confused whenever we watch one of these. Quasimorph <laughs> is an intruder stepping in from another reality. Oh, and unfortunately, my brain's now breaking in there. I, I, I gave up when it comes to stuff. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, apparently <laughs> a, a Quasimorph is someone coming in that from another reality. Is coming in from our, a different reality to our reality. ...is weakest between your chest Isn't that just camp. a plane oh. locker? Oh, it's, you know, yeah, not just coming, oh, he just explained it, not just coming in through a portal or anything, coming in by using a human body as a portal, basically. Okay. 
but he quasi oh, wow. as a turn-based survival extraction shooter or an it seems to be using to from Tarkov, except either from living humans or dead simple we take out a contract and send oh, in one of our agents if they die no problem they're not really any more people than they are proprietary neuro imprints well that's uh wow we license very I don't know what to say about that. I stopped and thought, like, what should I say? And then I just couldn't. Total client satisfaction. You're free to take jobs from any of the major corporations, <laughs> including the Quasimorphs. We may be lost. Why? But then again, I guess if you're a mercenary for the highest player, unlike me, who is a mercenary that chooses who he works for, you'll just choose whoever you want. Hmm. In an existential war for humanity, yes, that doesn't stop me from holding stock in sect land. Rapture oh. is coming, but Hobie, I got some great dividends. <laughs> start with a favorable reputation. After all, yeah. you did help them entrench into this reality. You start a Wait, what? Sounds horrible idea. These are horrible ideas. Yes, moving forward. ...by selecting an active contract around the planet or moon you're currently orbiting. This requires you to select a mercenary, a class, okay. and a loadout for the mission, after which you're deployed into hostile territory. Anyone you see? Anything this, that... This seems like another horror game for October. ...moves is kill on sight. An entire mission is two to four levels. If you change your mind midway and call the shuttle, fuel is expensive, so it's cheaper to let you die. The oh. only way to extract is by completing the objective, which can be espionage, station defense, sabotage, elimination, or conquest. If you die anywhere in between, you lose everything. And I assure you, you're going to be dying a lot. If it's any oh. consolation, uh, I died during the tutorial because I picked up a knife, selected amputate, and clicked on my head. <laughs> Deployment. <laughs> What's your do there? <laughs> That's funny. You're on a timer. The more time you spend and the more blood you spill, the higher your level of quasimorphosis. Quasimorphosis measures the okay. probability of ecolapse, where upon death the host explodes and a quasimorph phases in. The ah. severity of a situation is described in the bottom right. Somnia, no events. Grasp, occasional ecolapse. So, Intrusion. So ecolapse. Basically, ecolapse is the loss of self. It's a, it's a Freudian thing. Ration increase, mm. plenum, spontaneous ecolapse, alteration, the entire yeah. floor is coming, Q-morphos, music changes to its highest intensity, every host in the map explodes. And oh finally, dear god. Rapture. If you want to live, you'll keep this number as low as possible. Naturally, there's only a few ways to do this. Drinking yes. vodka, smoking Newports, and injecting morphine. What? Each time you move, you consume calories. At higher weights, this is 9 calories per step. This is what Americans really believe, and to avoid starvation, <laughs> we need a steady supply of slop but when the food runs out i want you to consider alternative oh no sources. when i consume my enemies is it really cannibalism for that yes. implies i considered them human to begin with god damn it seth Let's see. i know seth is never gonna watch any of the reaction video here but god damn it seth Unfortunately, <laughs> human flesh like no big youtuber is gonna watch our ship will raise your quasi-morphosis. You delay one death and accelerate another. However, oh. if you find a crafting bench in an empty tin, you can turn that long pig into gourmet dinner, which will no longer oh. cause quasi-morphosis. The Why? implication being that it's not about devouring your fellow man, it's about table manners. Disclaimer, what the hell? catch the canned meat. It's so over. On the other hand, they improve oh, the okay. crafting bench so much you have no idea. We are so back. In general, the crafting bench will save a lot of your early game runs. Uh, don't sleep on it. Improve Device, toilet grenades, clear rooms, makeshift batteries, power auto docks, and floor scanners. Completing okay. a mission gives rewards, but more importantly, a reputation. You can land at any corporate asset so long as it's friendly and exchange goods for equipment. And if you're completely broke but friendly with tech land, you can even exchange yourself by amputating your own limbs. This is what? not a joke. It's a completely valid strategy to potato peel your digits, offer them at the Fever uh. Temple, regenerate your limbs in the ship, and do it all over again. It's not official, Ew. but we can no longer exploit blood bag synthesis they caught what? on to us boys it was good while it lasted <laughs> speaking of which the magnum can fabricate almost everything so long as you have the proprietary item chip these i are forgot that people have usbs like that still around license and are so incredibly valuable that finding one <laughs> during a mission is a valid reason for evacuation there's also class and mind chips which unlock classes and mercenaries respectively oh. if you mouse over a chip and you see the words data miner 
You've officially hit the jackpot. You can do oh. whatever you want, but remember, your actions have consequences. Supporting a corporation will accelerate their growth in technology. If you want top shelf gear, great. But if you turn against them in the future, you're not going to be facing wage slaves and general managers. You'll be facing rival PMCs. Oh, god damn. Forces. So I encourage you, pick a side any side and stick to it there's a lot of minor corporations but for the sake of time here's the big players sbn social media monopoly they own ah, Trump, okay. the best energy rifles and the lightest armor realware industrial mm. mega manufacturer carnage pattern is objectively the coolest armor and they produce the highest rpm Car every time i hear the word carnage now i just think of carnage from spider-man and com entertainment and research conglomerate they make the most versatile mm. armor the best snipers and the experimental hfc this game's a Equivalent of Doom's BF oh. test line, quasi morphs from Venus that'll make you rage quit at least several times. Everything oh. is Aztec, from the design to the desire for human organs. And finally, why Aztec? Is it because of the freaking flailed one, one of the gods of the Aztecs? Probably. And for some, he's, he's called it's called Tukatetlan, which I'm pretty sure was the original name of Mexico City. Like the civil resistance. These are terrorists that hope to bring about something even worse than Judgment Day. Uh. A return to national sovereignty. They intentionally oh. hive mind themselves into a cluster of consciousness known as a call node. In effect, they have achieved working communism. Anyway, oh. you understand the politics of our PMC. Let's return to the actual mechanics. Okay. It's very tempting to finish the tutorial and go straight to the moon. Somehow, I avoided this so I didn't get filtered by a wheelchair. Quasi morphosis is unique to each planet because okay. they're subject to the influence of a different brown fatura. Venus, Ganix. Mercury, Shartamacum. And the Earth's moon, Duger. Mars and its moons have absentia, which means there is no quasimorphosis. So, oh, if you're good. starting off, I recommend Mars. If you're learning, try Mercury and Venus. And if you know what you're doing, go to the moon. That doesn't mean any single location is safe, and death is around every corner. Most common cause wow. of death Flamethrowers, not in the hands of enemies, but my <laughs> An entire run, gone in a flash because some unpaid worker amputated your neck with a circular saw. Oh. I assumed the weapon was busted, so I tried it myself, in a straight line, where it ricocheted and cut my legs clean off. Oh you my god. Damage, you get injuries, which have to be treated, or they get infected. And if there's no antibiotics on hand, well... It has to go. Secondly, the most common cause uh. of getting filtered. Pain shock. If you take too much damage too quickly, you get stunned and lose a turn. Oh, that, system, that sounds horrible. Partial. If you shoot something hard enough, they'll get stunned from the shock. If you cause injury, you can run away as they bleed to death. And if you amputate a critical organ, they might just die instantaneously. The number of action points you can take per turn is based on your move setting. At any time, you can switch between sneak, normal, and run. Sneak is one action point, but can detect the position of nearby enemies, use your inventory, and interact with nearby objects at no cost. Normal okay. has two action points and run is free. However, while running, you can't open your inventory and take a severe penalty to your accuracy. Peak performance requires that you abuse the system. Opening a door, switch to sneak, see enemies, switch to normal, and toss a grenade before okay. switching back and locking it on the same turn. A lot of players have a tendency to go autopilot in sneak mode and just oh. die without explanation. What usually happens is they turn a sharp corner, get their shit blasted in, but because they have a single action point, they go into pain shock, which rolls over to the next turn, where they get shot again and repeat the process until they die. The whole point of running is to face check. Understand your tools, and you'll find this oh, to run be back a and forth. satisfying tactical experience. I used to have complaints about this game, but after so many hours, I can tell you, if you die, it's a skill issue. I have a brain parasite, and it forces me to play this game at two times speed. I'm guessing he's giving me one second. Okay, I'm not. Is anyone else confused? But other yeah. than that, it's other than that, this game does seem Everyone very explode. Everyone explode. <laughs> but yes, besides <laughs> some explode. of besides some of the confusion from Seth, I do like the idea of this game. Although it seems like a two D XCOMish style thing where you only have one trooper to me personally. But that doesn't turn me against it. I just prefer having Even a whole squad. Engine. That's a personal choice. I also use a macro to amputate every corpse. After 100 hours playtime, that's a necessity. Classes work like a perk system, and each mercenary has an intrinsic perk. I will say, Seth goes over a lot of these indie style games, and quite, they're quite interesting, honestly. They're usually never the same kind of game, at least no. 
at least I don't think they are. This they could ability. be all secretly working under a secret cabal, but I don't think that's Combines a thing. with your class of choice to create vastly different play styles. Oh. For example, Percy comes with plus five to all resistance. Outfitted with full cartage pattern, he's the only person in the game that can set himself on fire and not take damage. God damn! After putting him in Phoenix Brigade, I can shoot a single round of incendiary ammunition and burn down half the map. In general, <laughs> you should pick a mercenary that suits your play style. Do you want to feast on human flesh? Play Isabella, because she's immune to infection. Even better, put her as Eclipse Blaze and turn your cannibalism into a one-hit kill. Are you tired of getting stun-locked? Try Maximilian, because he doesn't feel pain. Would you like a slower pace? Oh. Play Mirza, because her caloric needs are 40% of everyone else. Are you tired of scraping by? Would you like to quadruple everyone's inventory to the point where every enemy contains two flavors of ramen and a pack of lucky strikes play tunnel rats and experience the greatest whiplash in difficulty as everything that doesn't die to your shotgun gets knocked back into the void of space i've discussed builds God Let's damn. Talk about guns because there's a lot of them if you want to kill yeah, enemies, you like need it. to beat their resistance and the type of damage you do is based on the okay. ammunition flamethrowers and energy rifles cook organics but have no effect on cyborgs in contrast the buckshot of a shotgun will cut them to pieces most armor stops the blunt impact of a nine millimeter but a 797 from an assault rifle will pierce right through. Quasimorphic God damn. weapons deal cold. Even if you're fully equipped, the full burst of a serpent's mouth will send Oof. you straight back to the menu. And poison was previously neglected, and now it's a complete menace. Also, there's turrets. They're incredibly useful for defense missions, and because an enemy ran right up to your face, shooting you in the crossfire. And oh, dear God! And asking yourself, what's that little icon? I, have, I kind of hate that. On, on the bottom right. On the... Don't worry about it. Uh, I forgot how to structure this video. So in conclusion, I give this game a self-inflicted out of 10. It's amazing. I know it's early access, but there's a lot of content already, and you can easily sync. This game does look fun, all things here. The bits where I'm getting a little bit confused is because Seth is going... Well, that's it. Is this channel only play this game? Only way to play this game? No, that's just one of my mods mm -hmm. where I'm getting confused by them. But other than that... Yeah, this game does look fun. 80 hours on just an in gameplay loop. There's an impressive. I want more squad style shooters where I can lead an, a squad to battle, Manta. but unfortunately, Features I don't come, get those. But I cannot disclose at this time because I promised I wouldn't tell. As always, mm. more content to come next year because I gotta see my family. Merry mm. Christmas! A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos consistently for several years. You're all truly wonderful and you give me more than i deserve and you won't stop asking me to take your money so i <laughs> will in exchange oh my God. enjoy the outro i do think seth is an actual nice guy considering how many times he literally locks on to these indie titles and gives them basically a big showcase of what they are and the good parts of them so that indie developers yeah. can get and of course those discounts for people I wish I could do this kind of thing, but unfortunately my editing skills are the crappiest of the land. <laughs> or else I would do this thing all the time. I just thought of a funny joke, but I'll say it after we're done with this video. The music's good, though. Anyway. There next week, I will probably be sending ten dollars to to Chrono for editing a video. You ain't gotta do that, man. It's too bad the money's already in your pocket. You can't do anything about it. Chrono oh, is the one I'll take. You know that video that was uh, editing more? For Chrono? Can I trigger? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, and then I'll basically commission Mori to do a... <laughs> to do a thumbnail for him. <laughs> just put it, just put it, like, us as the character. Just put me in, like, a big cosplaying frog suit. I am a yeah. huge um, <laughs> I think of unthinkable the... things. <laughs> I'm having to split the at stream into multiple parts, though. That's fine. I'll just put it for each of the thumbnails. I'll just put it up. It's a safe link. Don't worry. Oh, and it's good to see you, Corn. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, I'm trying to make it as short as possible, but it's 
kind of hard. Try to make it Stronger short than possible. 10 minutes? Yeah. It's probably going to be more like 30 minutes each or so. Well, you skipped the part where we're like yeah. being off. You know what? You know what? The oh, next sorry. idea oh, I yeah. have. Yeah, I'm, I'm skipping like a lot of like awkward parts and silent. Yeah, well, the parts where we're just silently just, like, going the... through the area. Yeah. Which it does cut off a lot of time, but not as much you would as you would think. Like you would have to like literally just put in just funny moments in order for it to be a 10 minute video. See, my editing style is more akin to like a let's player style. Or at least that's why I call it anyways. I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. I do like some of the art in this that's game, why. though. But yeah. Oh, yeah. The art it looks pretty cool in it. But if that's I... why a lot of my videos on YouTube are so long. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever become a big VTuber, or I will try to make a video game using some of the people that I've met who make really good 3D models. What the hell, Seth? <laughs> what? Did he just pull out a cigar and start smoking it through his mask? If you're interested, yeah. Yeah. 20 sale on GOG. Cool. Really? That's the code? Autistic Japanese man. That'll be me something. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just be smoking <laughs> a cigar <laughs> like that. Hey, okay, standing. No, with a, a, a face like that. <laughs> I've linked his Patreon in the description below. By the way, in case you're wondering, what's the most expensive... Dude, I can already see your suit? face in the Facebook. Yeah, what is I the most expensive? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> And I'll see you all next I don't want to see that. No, ew. <laughs> so yes, that's Seth once again. Thank you all so much for coming by. If you like our videos, consider checking tank. out the Patreon. Consider... Tank! What? Powerful Tank! Oh, did she want to watch the Tank video? Tank. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so tank. much. <laughs> she really wants a Tank for some reason. Wait, she... Buy me Tank! <laughs> <laughs> she wants for the zoo. She doesn't want a toy tank. She wants a live tank. Anyway, thank you all so much. If you like, <laughs> if you like us, check out the Patreon. Check out Chrono's channel. It should be in the description. If it's not, I'm going to be angry at myself. And yeah, check out Fable, who's over here, the most confused ringleader in the world right now. Yes, I I am confused. The hottest I, main coon. <laughs> I, I I play a lot of games. Max sometimes there, and he bullies me when he's there. It hurts. I do Please not help. bully. <laughs> anyway, I, also... I get bullied by my chat. They keep making me do setups. It hurts. It hurts. Reminds me of my chat. That's the also... boring. You and me. You and me. <laughs> uh, you guys. I your back. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Thank you yeah. all so much, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.